comparing ratios. Javion really loves peanuts in his trail mix. Nut Lover Trail Mix promises one ounce of peanuts in its eight ounce bag. So we can make a ratio out of that. One ounce of peanuts to a total of eight ounces in the bag. So that is the Nut Lover Trail Mix. Costco sells Mega Mix with five ounces of peanuts in its Mega 64 ounce bag. We can make a ratio out of that. Five ounces of peanuts in a 64 ounce bag. Which one should he buy to get the most peanut taste? Well, right now we got a slight problem because the bag sizes are different sizes. So we don't really know how they match up. What we can do is think about these ratios like fractions and find common denominators. Make the amount in each bag the same. So we want to find common denominators and the number that both 8 and 64 can both go into their least common multiple is 64. So we can multiply this one by 8 and it will become 8 ounces of peanuts out of 64 ounces total. So which one should Javion buy? Should he buy the Nut Lover trail mix or should he buy the Costco trail mix if he wants the most peanut taste? Well, hopefully you can tell that it needs to be the Nut Lover trail mix because they have 8 ounces of peanuts per 64 ounces and Costco is a little bit short of that. They've only got 5 ounces in 64 ounce bag. All right, which car gets better gas mileage? So we have a Ford car that gets 125 miles, five gallons. And we have a Chevy car that gets 120 miles on six gallons. The way I'm going to do this one is change these ratios to unit rates. And a unit rate is when you have the denominator turned into a 1. Well, how can we turn a 5 into a 1? We can divide it by 5. And if we do something to the denominator, we have to be fair and also do it to the numerator. So that's going to become a new ratio, a unit rate of 25 miles in one gallon. The Chevy, I need to divide by 6 because 6 divided by 6 is 1 and I do that to the numerator as well. 120 divided by 6 is 20 miles per gallon. So which one will get you better gas mileage? Well, hopefully you can tell that the Ford will get you better gas mileage because you're going to get 25 miles in one gallon which is better than only getting 20 miles in one gallon. Which ham is the better deal? You can go to Rainbow and get a ham for five dollars and seventy cents and it's got three pounds. Or you can go to Cub and buy a ham for eight dollars and seventy five cents and it will be five pounds. So let's make ratios. So rainbow is five dollars and seventy cents for three pounds and cub is eight dollars and seventy five cents for five pounds. We can do just like the last problem and change these to unit rates by changing the denominators to 1. So how do I change a 3 into a 1? I divide by 3. And to be fair, I need to do that to the numerator as well. 
I'm going to use my calculator real quick and we find that this is going to be a dollar ninety. Cub, we need to divide by five. And when I use my calculator, I see that it needs to be a dollar seventy five per pound. So which one's the better deal? Hopefully you can tell that cub, you're only paying one dollar and seventy five cents per pound. So that is the better deal. There's another way to compare ratios. We can use graphing. So if you've got a lot of data in a table, you could graph them and see which one's the better deal. So let's first figure out the uh, remainder of these table values. So for Valley Fair, for four people, it's $60. Well, four times two is eight. So we're going to multiply 60 times two, and that means it's going to be $100 and twenty dollars to go to Valley Fair for eight people. Four times three is twelve. So I'm gonna do sixty times three is a hundred and eighty for twelve people. And four times four is sixteen. So four times sixty is two hundred and forty dollars for sixteen people. If you go to zero gravity, it costs, for five people, $95. And for 10, five times two is 10, so we're going to multiply 95 times two. 95 times two is going to be 190. Five times three is 15. 95 times three is going to be 285. And the last one, 5 times 4 is 20. 95 times 4 is 380. Looks like we go up to 20 people. We're going to put people on the bottom. And then on the vertical axis, we can put the money. All right, so let's graph Valley Fair. Valley Fair has four people, so I come over to four right here, and then I go up to 60, and I'm just going to have to estimate the best guess at that, so 60 is going to be a little more than halfway. So there's my point. Eight people is right here. Go up to 120, which is going to be about right there. 12 people, come up to 12 right here, and go up to 180, which should be just a little less than 200. And 16 people, go up to 240, should be a little less than 250. And that's making a line for the price of Valley Fair. Now let's graph zero gravity. That's going to go to a five people, go up to 95, which is a little bit under 100. Go to 10 people, which is going to go up to 190, which is a little less than 200. 15 people, go to 285. And 20 people is $380. And so this black line is the price for zero gravity. So now, looking at this, which family trip is the better deal? One might be more fun than the other, but which one's going to be cheaper? Hopefully you can tell that the prices for zero gravity are higher in the picture than the ones for Valley Fair. So you should be able to tell that zero gravity is going to be more expensive because its line is higher on the price. So Valley Fair is cheaper. You can also use a graph to compare ratios.